So in mitosis, each daughter cell ends up with one copy of each chromosome. And since we, as you and I start out with 46 chromosomes in each of those cells, that process isn't random, right? Instead, it's highly coordinated, and those act, the, the actions, uh, the steps um, of, of mitosis, um, generally we break them down into five phases, five different kind of pieces. Um, and of particular importance is actually the cytoskeleton. So as we talk about the events in mitosis, pay attention to what both what's happening to the chromosomes as well as how the cytoskeleton is involved in making sure that both daughter cells end up with one of those two copies. And so we start off with prophase. And this is the, the, the phase of mitosis where the chromosomes go from long strands to the kind of traditional the, tra the, the, the traditional kind of X-shaped structures um, that we uh, generally think about when we hear the word chromosome. They're still hanging out in a nucleus. And this is also when the spindle apparatus begins to form. And so the spindle apparatus is, um, is a cytoskeleton structure. It's made of microtubules. Um, and in... Uh, and in eukaryotic cells, these microtubules are growing out of structures called the microtubule organizing centers, or MTOC. Next is a phase called prometaphase. And here is where the nucleus, the nuclear envelope, which I've drawn here in orange, begins to break down. And as the nuclear envelope begins to break down, then that allows the microtubules to attach to the centers of the chromosomes. And the place that those microtubules are attaching to those chromosomes is a structure called the kinetochore. Which are protein complexes that form at the one place that those two sister chromatids are still stuck together. And that place is uh, the place called the centromere. And then the microtubules that have attached to those kinetic cores begin pulling on them. And something kind of cool happens. You end up in the next phase, which is called metaphase. And the microtubule organizing centers in metaphase end up on opposite sides of the cell. And because each chromosome is attached to both of them. You see, attached to both of them like this, because they're being pulled on from both sides of the cell, they end up lining up down the center of the cell. Right? These chromosomes are lined up down the center of the cell um, in a structure that is commonly called the, uh, the metaphase plate. Right? But there's not actually a plate there. Um, they're just kind of all sitting here in a row. And next, the proteins in that kinetic core break down. And because each chromatid is attached to one of the microtubule organizing centers on each side of the cell, what happens when that kinetic core breaks down is the chromatid split. And now, each chromatid is headed to one side of the cell, right? These chromatids are headed this way, 
these chromatids are headed this way, except now they're not chromatids anymore. Now they've become chromosomes, right? This is the step where we go from chromatids back to chromosomes. Chromosomes. Okay, they're independent pieces of DNA now. Even though this chromosome and this chromosome carry the same DNA, they carry the same genetic material. And then once, um, once those, uh, oh, I'm sorry, once the chromosomes have headed basically towards either side of the cell, I haven't actually been drawing the cell, but now they're on either side of the cell and the nucleus can reform. And so as the nucleus reforms, this is our last phase of, of mitosis, which is called telophase. Right, the nuclei, the nuclear envelope reforms around both sets of chromosomes. And then eventually the, the, the plasma membrane kind of pinches in between these. And you end up with two cells.